and oxygen. If you double click on one of these elements and then hit enter, what you've done is you've just created, notice this is bold, you've now created an empty attribute or a null attribute here in task. And we can see this if we go to the text view, we now see we've got platform with an empty attribute. So how do we get rid of that? Well, there's two, two parts to that answer. The, the first is to actually delete this one. We can just right click on it and choose remove. Um, the, other, the other part of the answer is if you happen to double click on an attribute and so that makes this field active, if you don't want to do anything with it, then you just hit the escape key and that then puts away your results. Just a couple other things about this dialog. Notice if I have step selected in the attributes, it um, tells me that step is selected, but if I actually want to change the attribute for one of its parents, I can click this drop down list and say, no, I was really interested in the attributes for task body, and so now I'm affecting that attribute, or the, the attributes for that element. Okay, well, let's put this file away. We've done enough to that, and let's open up another file. So now I'm going to go up to a concept. This is just for interest, and let's open one more. So from lawnmower, let's enter a table. Editing tables is really nice in, uh, in Oxygen. You come to the DITA menu. You can choose DITA, table. And then notice over here that um, all of these elements here, all of these items on this menu are all reflected in items that are here on your toolbar. So everything that you can get from the menu, you can get from the toolbar. I use the toolbar a whole lot more. But if you want to insert a table, just click on Insert Table. And now Oxygen prompts you, and so you can enter it. Um, you can choose which model. Do you want to use the CALS model, or do you want to use a simple table? Do you, want to, you can then create a title for your table. Um, you can cho choose the number of rows, the number of columns you can have. Uh, you can specify if you want to have a table header, and you can specify the kind of framing you want on this table. I'm going to choose none and click OK. So now Oxygen has created this table for me. So now I can enter, um, I can enter a header. Now, um, you notice there's a, a variety of things here. Actually, there's two behaviors. And one is the bold text that doesn't have a gray background. This is actually text you have to replace. And so I'm going to say here, lawn lower type. And then here I have to select the text and say um, pros. And here, select the text and say cons. But now, for the entries themselves, they're grayed, and these are just placeholders. So when I type it, the and the um, uh, the entry placeholder goes away. So so I can have my now my lawnmower pros and cons. Of course, using, this, using the dialogs, we can, or using the buttons, we can add new rows to the table. We can add new columns to the table. Uh, we can also, um, let's see, we can join cells up and down. So here we have it, if we want to make a, a merge or a straddle between this cell and the one below it, what we do is we choose the join down. Now, useful to note, see where the blue is in this icon. So that says that's where the current text is and, what, um, and it identifies the empty cell. So we join down. Now, if I want to undo this join, what we can do is do a split. And so now the blue is important because if I were to click on this icon here, we notice it's the blue is below, and so the text will actually go into the cell below, but here the blue is above, so I want to move the text back up into the cell above, and that's what happens. So that 
that's the, the directionality on these joins and splits. I can also delete rows, and we can delete columns. Now, one thing that's uh, this is a good springboard for pointing something else out. Notice um, we have a lot of room taken up here by the call spec um, in this uh, uh, CALS table. Because the GUI that we're seeing is displayed by um, CSS, we can set up C we can configure the CSS to show things or show things the way we want them. Now, Oxygen comes pre-configured with two separate CSS sets. And so one is the default, but if you notice I come up here, I can choose hide call spec. And when I do that, now we're using a CSS, a, a slightly different CSS that just hides the call spec. Now, this is just a small example of what you can do. You can configure the CSS to um, conform to your corporate look and feel. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You can flat add great flexibility, and of course, you can have many, many more than these two if you need to. Now, just a few hints about where you do that. Um, you come to Program Files in the Option Editor. In Frameworks folder and Ditta, you'll notice there's a CSS folder. So the CSS folder is where all the CSS files reside that we're using to display this current document. Now, so we can go in here and um, modify these CSS files, or we can add new CSS files. But then, to actually link it into the interface, there's another file called data.framework. So what you need to do is edit this data.framework, and it's from this file, which is an XML file. You can specify the CSS set that you want to use, and you can assign a nice uh, user-friendly name to it, too, in that file. So that's where this name hide call spec came from. That name doesn't exist in the CSS files. That's actually from the DITA framework file. So let's go back to the DITA default just to see that. All right. Let's insert a graphic. So I'm going to just throw away this table. So inserting graphics is fairly quite and fairly straightforward. Here we come to the DITA menu, and we can say Insert and Insert Image. And from the interface now, we can find a we can find an image, everybody's favorite image. And so here now we have our image. And then, of course, we can use, um, if we want to actually create a formal figure, we can use our control E then to say, this is a fig. And then we can hit enter, and we can say we want to enter our title. And, uh, and, uh, so on and so forth. We can also modify this image. We can add our alt tag if we want to. So that's images. That's quite straightforward. Tracking changes. So in, um, in Oxygen, it's possible to track the changes that you make. And so we can come to, uh, there is a toolbar that's available for this, and this is very useful to configure. 